Yes, hello, I'm here. Um, okay. Pim. Yeah, you have uh, 15 minutes to present your work and yep. follow it by five minutes to, to question from the audience. Yeah, you I'll can, you can begin. Can you guys see my screen? Yes. Okay, perfect. Um, hi, everybody. Uh, I'm Pim. Um, I'm from the Vrije Universiteit Amsterdam. Um, and we published a paper uh, for Bika uh, for a master's course. Um, and the paper is called a second order adaptive network model uh, for connecting social media platforms and users through bonding by faked homophily. Um, this is done by me, uh, by Julia and by Professor uh, Jan Treur. Um, so doesn't move. Yeah. So imagine uh, it's a cold, dark winter. I'm not sure how that is in Guadalajara, but here in the Netherlands, we have cold, dark winters. Um, you turn on your smartphone uh, and you log into Netflix. Uh, and before you know it, they pull you right in and you waste your entire day watching uh, series or movies. Um, so we focused on this phenomena uh, of media and social media platforms, so for instance, Netflix or YouTube, um, who are doing a very good job of uh, their content delivery uh, matching uh, the user uh, because you want to give people uh, what they want uh, for better uh, retention. Um, we hypothesize that this uh, is done by faking homophily. Um, homophily is the process of um, uh, people bonding through similarity. Uh, so for instance, uh, we can find this in uh, everyday life. Uh, we can see it in friendships, colleague bonds, marriage, etc. cetera, um, because birds of the same feather uh, flock together. So similarity breeds some form of connection. Um, this feature, uh, one could also use uh, and fake it. So for instance, if you like someone, but they have, uh, for instance, they have a certain hobby that you don't like. You can fake that you like it to still create this homophily and still create this uh, connection. Um, for this uh, for this paper, our main source was Mental Models and Their Dynamics, uh, Adaptation and Control, uh, which is a book by uh, Jan Treur, our professor, and Lila van Mens. Uh, and we use the chapter Bonding Based on Faking. Um, so we think that platforms, so social media platforms, also fake this homophily. Um, a streaming platform um, do not offer a visible social connection. Um, however, uh, the user still does make a connection because Netflix, for example, uses phrases such as because you watched, you might like. Um, we consider this connection uh, to be developed through bonding by homophily. Um, and why does a platform want to do it? Of course, for maximum retention, uh, pushing ads so that the platform can make more money. Um, another important thing is that the platform might have own ideas in terms of production. So users might have a changing interest over time. Um, and uh, it, it could be interesting to move a specific user towards um, the content that you are most likely to produce. Um, we modeled this uh, based on, on, on two basic uh, assumptions, the one of uh, social uh, contagion, uh, the one of binding through uh, homophily, um, and the platform presenting a fake state to the user. Because I, as a user, never know the true intentions of Netflix. Uh, they only show me what they think is relevant to me. Uh, so we created a, a model for this, uh, where we have a base layer. Uh, can you see my mouse pointer? Or can I maybe check, make it a laser pointer? Is this visible? Okay, perfect. Um, okay, so we uh, the, the faking by homophily uh, principle led us to our model. Uh, we modeled the process where the user as a is influenced by a fake state from the platform. Uh, so the platform presents certain uh, content and influences the user. Um, 
the user, of course, uh, influences the platform uh, as well. However, the user never knows the true intention of the platform. Um, so uh, this is one of the important uh, parts. Um, another goal of us was to simulate a situation where an algorithm of a platform will show uh, the user uh, what it likes and eventually make the user converge to other content. Uh, so then we have the second uh, order, um, which is um, uh, which is, which has two R W states, uh, which are influenced by representative states of the base network, and this is where the actual homophily happens. So the binding, uh, and then we have another uh, state which normalizes uh, the the formula. Uh, then we ran some simulations. Uh, so the goal was. Uh, to make users converge uh, to the platform uh, through the fake state. So if we zoom in on this, uh, the blue one is the, um, the user. So the user has a specific interest. Um, and we see that the uh, purple line is the fake state. So the algorithm needs some time to adjust and then it catches the user and brings it towards the intention uh, of the of the platform. Um, meanwhile, we also see that the platform is uh, slowly coming towards the user. And we can explain this with a real world example by imagining Netflix would somewhat adjust its own content, uh, for example, by making new movies and shows so that user uh, is more willing to stay on the platform. Um, so then we did another simulation. Um, where we use different initial values, um, which had the idea of does a user still converge uh, when the interests of the user are far different from the platform? So we used, uh, we used higher uh, separation between uh, the user and the platform. And if we uh, remove all the other lines, uh, we have the same ID. Um, so we really see the algorithm uh, or the fake state coming up and recommending the right amount or the, the right type of content, uh, we can see homophily happening because they are really close to each other. And then uh, over time, it moves towards uh, the platform's core content. And we also see, again, the slow influence of the platform itself changing. Um, then we had another idea, what happens if we make the actual platform uh, slower to respond? Uh, so the algorithm is still fast, but the adjusting of the platform, so for instance, making or producing new uh, content is more difficult. Uh, so then we see the same principle. So the algorithm catching with the user, or it takes a little bit longer time, and then it moves it towards the, the value of the platform and the platform also slowly starts to move. Um, yeah, so if we discuss this phenomena, um, you can use faking uh, to connect to a user. Um, so after uh, you actually uh, caught this user with the right uh, amount of content and the right type of content, you can actually move the user state through bonding by homophily. Uh, and platforms can slowly react to the user's need. Uh, so if the person deviated too much from the original type of content, you could create new content. Um, and it's, it's applicable in different types of contexts. So for instance, you could use this model uh, for a new platform searching what type of content it would create or uh, for existing platforms looking to uh, adjust their uh, content uh, delivery. Um, it is also important to mention that uh, we, we, we threw a couple of scenarios at the model um, and it always seemed to work in the sense that the fake state of the platform, so the algorithm quickly matches the user and then is able to move the user. Um, it's still very interesting to see uh, if, if we can find a way to uh, make the user lose the interest. Um, so for instance, is there uh, some sort of scenario where 
the user and the, and the algorithm uh, are so far apart that the user loses uh, interest. So this could, for instance, be uh, simulated by a slow learning algorithm. Um, yeah, and then, um, yeah, it is, of course, a simplified version of reality. Um, also, because this was part of a master's course and not like a, a PhD track or anything. Um, so we need some sort of empirical data to verify the model, to mimic the algorithm. There is a lot of research on these types of algorithms. Um, yeah, and the model created for this paper is necessarily um, a simplified version of reality and no real empirical data. So it's more a proof of concept. Um, yeah, it, it, it should be noticed that only the connection between one user uh, and an oversimplified algorithm like me uh, mechanism was investigated. Uh, so yeah, it could be very interesting to see how this works with multiple types of users. Um, but nonetheless, it's, it's quite interesting. So yeah, that was my presentation. Are there uh, any questions? Thanks. Uh, someone of the audience uh, have a question? Uh, 